Hey everyone, today we need to talk a little bit about the Epic Game Store. Um, the Epic Game Store is essentially an alternative PC video game purchasing store to places like Steam or Origin or whatever Ubisoft's Uplay store, whatever it is, or obviously things like Battle.net, which really just applies to Blizzard games from Activision Blizzard. So it's an alternative to those stores to buy games. And how Epic kind of decided to approach things is to throw out a lot of money, a lot of that Fortnite money, to purchase exclusive... Um, temporary exclusives i guess for their platform some of them are timed exclusives some of them are permanent exclusives that aren't just their games but are games from other companies they basically are brute forcing their way into mattering in the pc space so basically if you want to play certain games you need to use the epic game store app launcher on your computer now as much as some people are against those practices and i understand it uh to me it doesn't bother me i am a console gamer i am so used to microsoft sony nintendo throwing their weight around throwing their money around getting exclusives for their platforms that this doesn't bother me as much as it does others as long as i can still play the games on my pc i don't really care if it's from steam from epic from battle.net or whatever i have like all these launchers on my computer or well i did because it looks like the epic game launcher uh might be potentially stealing data from your computer it's at least logging data so what happened is, and this gets really technical, so I'm not going to go into all the details, but I am going to show a bunch of images on screen of people that kind of explained it and all this stuff. Uh, essentially, the Epic Game Launcher is, well, it's running processes on your computer that it does not need to be running. It is doing things like checking your local Steam profile, which gives them access to not only your friends list, but also gives them access to the games you own on Steam, the time you played those games, and all of that jazz. It also gives them access to things on your computer like Internet Explorer, which is, for some reason, they're loading Internet Explorer. They gave a weird explanation for that. Uh, something to do with DRM and online verification. I don't know. It's a really dumb thing because Steam doesn't do that, and Steam has DRM. And in fact, a lot of games on Steam use Denovu, which, again, that's a whole other conversation for another day if I'm going to talk more about PC gaming. But uh, it's also like going into your registry and, and doing things in your registry that it doesn't need to be doing. And in general, it is basically gaining access to all of this private, local information on your computer that it does not need to access. Origin does not access this stuff to run. Good Old Games does not access this stuff. Battle.net does not access this stuff. And more importantly, Steam doesn't access a lot of this stuff. But here we have Epic Games basically crawling your computer and finding out all the information they possibly can about you as a gamer and then claiming publicly in response that, oh, we're not actually using any of that data. Then why are you gathering it? <laughs> I mean... Their argument for the Steam stuff is that, oh, well, we have a Steam friend importer, right? Like, you can import all your friends from Steam. But here's the thing. The way that the Steam um, profile system works on your local computer, you don't need to access things that tell you what games I have and how long I have played those games. You do not need to access those files in order to gain access to your Steam friend list. It's an open API. It's publicly available. You can check it out if you want. And you don't need to actually access those files in order to get the friends list to port over to uh, <laughs> to their, their client. So that explanation is already BS because you're accessing files you don't need to access to do what you say you're doing. And you only do things with those files if people give you permission. Although nowhere in any of your end user license agreements does it actually claim that you have any reason to touch any of this information. And in the section where it talks about the information you do gather, a lot of this stuff is going well beyond the information that you are saying that you're gathering. Now, the explanation from Tim Sweeney and a lot of the top heads at Epic Games is that, oh yeah, we're accessing those files. We're not going to deny that we're doing that, but we're not actually making copies of it and putting it on our server. Uh, they're just, you know, extra copies that just sit on your computer for literally no reason because none of that information has nothing to do with running video games on your computer. What it could have to do with OS is market research. And that is 
using information available about your users from gender to uh, different things they like to do, uh, that maybe what's in their bookmarks or in their internet history to kind of determine how to advertise games to them on Epic Games or to figure out what games they want to spend more money on to make exclusive. Uh, in fact, they released some interesting data points that talked about the difference in terms of the number of people playing a certain game on their platform versus the number of people playing it on Steam. But the number of people playing it on Steam in terms of active users and time they spend playing wasn't actually publicly available information. That information, though, could be data mined from computers' profiles, from profiles that people have in their computers for Steam. So they're already like advertising something they know about the way players are playing with information that's only available by data mining computers. But remember, they claim they're not uploading any of this data to their servers. They're just making copies of it to make copies of it because they're just a kind company looking out for you and in case your files get corrupt in completely different systems like Steam, hey look, Epic Games made a copy of it for you, so you're fine. Not looking good. Uh, if you want to dig deeper into this, I'll put a few uh, more links in the description so you can actually get into the exact things you need to be looking out for if you are running the Epic Game Launcher on your PC. Uh, it starts by looking at the Windows processes and things that it's running, but it, it goes so much deeper than that. It's actually getting worse and worse every day. People are discovering more and more things that the Epic Game Launcher is actually gaining access to, and it's insane how like malware-like this is acting. It is crawling all over your computer when it has no business doing it. So either it's a poorly coded thing or something's messed up. In fact, one of the people uh, that, that's kind of one of the main heads behind it, you know, works for Tencent and has worked at another company that got busted for stealing data from people's computers, which again, does not lead to confidence in what Tim Sweeney and other people from Epic are saying, how we're not using this information as you publish data that's only available if you are using that information. So, I don't know if anything's ever going to come with this. I don't know if there's going to be any legal actions. Uh, what I can say is I'm really disappointed in the video game industry in terms of the media, especially on the website side of things. It appears that a lot of traditional print media websites are kind of throwing this news under the bus. In fact, I've seen some positive articles put out about some of the changes coming to Epic Games Store, like cloud saves and all that. And those are positive changes, and we absolutely should talk about those. But you can't talk about those and ignore what's happening. I mean, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, just to call out one particular outlet in particular, oh my gosh, are they white knighting for Epic like crazy, uh, saying that, well, you know, everyone's talking about all this stuff, but Epic came out and said that they're not using any of this stuff. Ergo, it's not a big deal, and people just blew it out of proportion. Reality is, Epic has no reason to access most of the stuff that they're accessing anyways, even if they're not putting copies on their server. Then why are they accessing these files in the first place? That's the entire point. If they're not going to be using that, the information, then why are they gathering it? That is the ultimate question that Epic is refusing to answer. So yes, the Epic Game Launcher is basically acting like malware, and uh, people are worried about the security of their systems with it on. There's a lot of people that are refusing to now even use Epic Games anymore. Uh, I... I'm not sure where I stand on this. I think a lot of this, because of the public backlash, is going to be addressed. But then again, if the media keeps sweeping it under the rug, maybe the hope is that it'll go away. And why are they doing it? Maybe they're getting some fat advertising checks from, from Epic. I don't know. Uh, Epic doesn't pay me, so I really don't care what I say about them. Even if they did, if I found out they were doing this, I would call it out. And I would probably end my partnership with them because uh, this is not good. Again, there's no evidence to suggest that Epic is actually using the data um, necessarily on your computer. I can, we can't 100% prove that that's the case. But what we do know is it is gathering data they claim they are not using, so why are they gathering the data? <laughs> that's the that's the million dollar question that no one's really answering. And again, Epic's acting like it's not a big deal. Um, and I know for a lot of people out there, you don't care about security when you use a computer. Um, all your information is already out there. I mean, even for me, if you really want to find my address or my phone number or whatever, anything about me, it's out there on the internet. You'll be able to find it somewhere. But uh, in terms of some of my private passwords and all that stuff, like that's only on my computer and in my brain. And uh, if you gain access to that, hmm, I mean, there's passwords I literally don't even use online that are only for certain files on my computer I have passworded that this launcher could potentially be telling them. I mean, it's giving people hash IDs for their, their Steam IDs, hash IDs for their games, hash IDs for their play statistics. I mean, it's really targeting Steam a lot, but it's going well beyond that. And I just, I honestly think that uh, this is not good. This is not the direction we should want to see competition come in. I am all for having heavy competition 
against Steam. I don't even care that they're throwing money around and getting exclusive games. What I do care about, though, is when they are being shady behind the scenes and then acting like it's not a big deal and we're not actually doing anything with the data. Even if you're not, update your thing so it's not collecting that data in the first place. And once you have a breach like this, it's pretty hard to gain consumer trust back. So good luck with that, Epic. That being said, I am Nathaniel Robogents from Nintendo Prime. I hope you at least were informed a little bit about this situation. I know it's not 100% Nintendo related, but can you imagine if the Nintendo Switch Online service uh, was data mining your computer? Like when you log in on their service on your computer, it started data mining. Wouldn't that just be insane? What if the Nintendo Switch Online app on your phone is data mining all your apps? and providing all the data to Nintendo to try to figure out um, what sort of apps they should be making. Even though there is some public available information, it, it just, it, it's just mind-blowing to me what is happening with this client and how the media is treating it. Um, again, I don't know enough about all of the particulars and understand everything 100% outside of the fact that it's confirmed, and I checked it on my computer, that Epic is crawling things on your computer that it has no business touching for what their client is supposed to be doing. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this story down in the comments below. Otherwise, I am Nathaniel Robojets from the Tenor Prime, and I will catch you guys in the next video, which I think is Prime News later today. Actually, there hasn't been a lot of news today, but uh, that's okay. We'll see what happens by the time it's, it's Prime News time, baby, because uh, it's Friday.